The bright colors of fall surround us as we enter the month of October here in the Kootenays. And at the Chateau Kimberley, the colors were blending in perfect harmony as I attended a charity function to raise non-perishable food items for the food bank put together by Shaw TV in Cranbrook. The art at the Chateau was graceful and poetic as I was able to catch up with a couple of the artists to find out more about their style and inspirations. Instead of a brush, I have an iron. It's called encaustic and it's uh, actually thousands and thousands of years old. Have you been doing this long? About five years. Little okay. five, five and a half, yeah. What inspired you to take up wax? Internet. <laughs> internet to see it was cool. Same old thing, you know, you search in the internet and all of a sudden you come across something and and I thought, Ooh, this looks interesting. It, as soon as you remove the heat, it's dry. From professing to painting, artist Angelique Gillespie was in attendance as one of the donating artists. Angelique describes her artistic style for us. Whimsical. Whimsical? Whimsical figures, yeah, very whimsical. Have you got a color palette that you like to choose and stick to? or? Um, no, no. I have a tendency to be... Um, I stick to the same colors. I stick to two yellows, two reds, two blues. And um, I tend to alternate between those. Uh, I go with the feeling of whatever I'm painting. Not, I don't want to be that rigid. So no, I tend to um, just go with it. I tend to start bright and then I'll slow down. That brightness comes from being in Australia. Where about in Australia? Are you Sydney. Sydney. Yeah. But I tend to be uh, influenced by people, and that comes from coming from a very large family the people. Um, I tend to like bright colours because I'm an Australian and everybody, that's the big thing people say about mine all the time is to how bright my colours are and how um, they love the colours and that's something that's just who I am and I've been told to tone them down but I don't tone them down, I just love the colours so I keep doing them. The um, I'm loosening up with the figure and I think I'm just getting more relaxed with doing it uh, and I don't tend to uh, I do everything spontaneous like this is maybe it looks like it's planned but I have no idea how I'm going to go at it and I'm just going to let it evolve in front of me and that's the way I work is just let it how do I name them um, usually they've got something about movement in them because I like everything to have a feeling of action so yeah, there's something about um, movement. Uh, I don't know what this one's going to be called. Um, I don't know yet. It hasn't sort of. It hasn't evolved into. Um, I become one with the painting at some point, and it hasn't evolved to that yet. So I'll just start working on it. And that's right. No, no, I'm not that well planned. I just uh, go with the flow, with it. For more information on the Chateau Kimberley, please contact them at 866-488-8886 or on the net at chateau-kimberley.com. For more information on fine arts in Kimberley, please contact Marianne Bitter at 250-427-7142 or on the net at mariannebitter.com.